guys, what is going on? It's Ben again, and today I'm going to show you how you can get any Adobe CS2 product for free. So this includes Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and anything else that was in the CS2 product suite. Now these products are old, but I would recommend it if you want to get a start with Adobe products and don't want to purchase the, like, the CS6 suite yet. So we're just going to search up Adobe CS2 download free, and we're going to go to other downloads, and give it some time to load. You have to log into your Adobe account. Um, it's free, so, uh, so you can see right here it says Benjamin. So I'm going to go here to Creative Suite CS2, give it some time, and they disabled the activation server for CS2 products because of a technical issue. Since they were so old, they just didn't bother, and they disabled the activation server because of a technical issue, like I said, so they apparently now they're trying to get you to, they strongly advise you to not run it and only customers who legitimately purchased it and need to maintain the current use may only use the serial numbers provided. But hey, I'm, I didn't legitimately purchase it, so you can technically get it for free even if you didn't legitimately purchase it. So here are the requirements. You need Mac OS X 10.2.8 or 10.3.8, and you need Windows 2000 or XP and these processors. So it will run on anything past that. So obviously here are all the languages that you can get them in. But since we're in English, we're going to go here. And as you can see, you have all these. We've got the entire Creative Suite. We've got Acrobat 3D. We've got Acrobat Standard 7.0. We've got Acrobat Pro 7.0. We've got After Effects, Audition 3.0, Go Live CS2, Illustrator CS2, InCopy, InDesign, Photoshop, and Premiere Pro. So I've already gotten Premiere Pro, and I'll show you that in a, in a little bit. And it's only for Windows, so Mac users, I'm sorry, but... Oops. But... We're going to download Photoshop for this video. I'm just going to show you guys. So this is the Mac installation and this is the Windows because it's .x and Mac can't run a .x. So we're going to download it and I'm going to let it download and I'll see you guys right after that. Okay, so we're back and I have installed it and moved to the desktop. As you can see, this is the setup. PHSP CS2 English. As you can see, if I hover over it, the company is Adobe Systems and blah, blah, blah. And it's 340 megabytes, so it has a relatively small footprint and it's going to say do you want the file crown just say yes the publisher is obviously adobe so yeah so yes next and it's going to go through the whole wizard so i'm going to pause it and i'm going to come back to you guys once i've gotten the serial number it's basically a setup and they provide the serial number right here just let me quickly go here so they do provide the serial number, just go down to Photoshop, and I will prove to you that will work, because when I get to the serial number page, I'll show you the actual serial number of the actual serial number from, from here for Windows, and then there's the one for Mac. So yeah, after I get to that point in the setup, I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to be back to you guys right after that. All right, so we're back. I have put in the serial number as it shows right here, so if you want to pause it and make sure that I didn't enter a different serial number, now you can, or whatever, so I'm going to click next. Obviously install to the folder provided, of course, blah blah blah, just go to next. And it's going to install, so yeah. It takes a while, so this might have to be the time where you have to be patient. And we're back, so it has officially finished installing, so as I click finish, now we get the official, you know, read me you can get out of that and go into the actual app. So we will say reading preferences, scanning for plugins, all this, yada yada yada. So I'll skip to when it actually comes to. So now it's asking you to register, but I'm just going to get out of that. I'll just cancel registration. You don't have to register, but here we go. Now that you have is actually installed Photoshop, yes, I would like to allow them. You can just get out of this. And bam! You officially have Photoshop. Now you can actually get to work and start working on something. I don't know, I'll just I'll just draw something for now. And bam! See, I have officially demonstrated Photoshop for you. You can do all the features. Let me get out of here right now and show you the other thing I wanted to show you. So now I'm going to show you how you can do Premiere Pro. So it'll come in this kind of file. Just click Extract. So it's going to copy, so I'll pause it when it comes back. Now to actually 
get to the files after you've extracted them, you want to go to Premiere Pro 2.0, which is the folder. Sorry, it's glitching out a little bit. And then you want to go to Premiere Pro, not to any of the languages because that's just documentation. Then you kind of want to scroll down here and go to Setup. Click on the application, not the configuration settings, or the bin file. And then you, if it doesn't click right, you want to right click it and then it'll give you an option to open it, which is what I did. It showed up a little bit there. So now I'm actually going to get to the setup and I'll come back when it's to the serial number. Okay, so now that I have gotten all this set up in my face, but now that I have actually got the serial number up, if you want to pause the video and check, now's your chance. I'm just going to click next, obviously install Premiere Pro to those files if you want to do it different. So now that it is installing, it does take several minutes, just like it says it may, depends on your computer speed. So yeah, it's now installing Premiere Pro. Okay, so now that we have Premiere Pro 2.0, we are officially loading up. It does take a while as it's an older system, so running software that's older on your computer is kind of risky, but it's something I'm willing to do for you guys, so I'm going to give it some time to finally load up. So now you have the same uh, register screen, I'm just going to click do not register, and now we are greeted with the actual screen, so I'm just going to click OK. I don't know, just set it as a new project. And there we go. So now we are greeted with the screen. So that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching, and this is Ben Vasquez signing out.